Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is just literally going to be a massive haul. Larry and I just got back from the store. Here's Larry. We have Walmart, so we have groceries, we have Hobby Lobby, we have beauty, we have perfume, we have everything you can think of. So that's what we're gonna do today. First, we're gonna start off with food because I love seeing what people buy from the grocery store. Plus, it gives me inspiration to buy new food. So let's start there and I'll show you guys what we're making for dinner tonight. You guys have seen me talk about it a lot. If you're new here, then you probably haven't, but, and that is like a veggie bake. So I got the ingredients for that. But let's start on the more unhealthy realm, kind of. So we'll start here, and this is the tortilla scoop chips for my salsa and buffalo chicken dip. And then Larry loves Cheetos, so we got two of these. He also picked up, oh, did you get buns, babe? Buns? Oh crap, we forgot buns. Okay, so <laughs> we have hot dogs, no buns. And then for dinner tonight, we are either gonna have this chicken or the sirloin tip steak. All of this is from Publix. And then to treat ourselves, I never ever really drink. And this is kind of like a Valentine's Day, kind of like little celebration thing. And I saw this and I was like, oh, that kind of looks good. So it's the Calypso Colada pineapple and coconut flavor. So I might have one of those on Valentine's Day. And then Larry picked up the strawberry daiquiri to have. And then Raisin Bran, heart healthy. Extra virgin olive oil. This is perfect to drizzle over my vegetables when I bake them in the oven and you can use it for literally so much. These were buy one, get one. I love peppers. So this is the Golden Creep Peppercini Tender and Crisp Medium Heat Peppers. Buy one, get one, so I got two. Garlic, love me some garlic. This was also a buy one, get one, and I got sliced peaches and 100% juice. Mushrooms for the veggie bake. Buffalo chicken breast dip for the tortilla chips. I always have to add so much hot sauce though because for me, they're never hot enough. So I always add hot sauce. Um, cherubs or shrubs or cherubs, I'm not really sure. But these are the best cherry tomatoes ever. They're kind of expensive though. I think these were like $4.99, crazy, or $5.99, I'm not really sure. Bananas, I love getting bananas because even if I don't eat them when they're like this, when they're about to go bad, I chop them up and freeze them and add them to my smoothies. So I get bananas now like every time. I just started doing that. Coffees, the Publix Premium Blend was buy one, get one. I got the Colombian Single Serve for the Keurig. And please do excuse my Keurig Splash coffee mess. What'd you get, babe? We got some door hinge door stops for your one office door because we had to remove the thing from the baseboard. So mm -hmm. this will be replacing those. Very good, perfect. Then I also picked up a Seattle's Best Coffee. I decided to get a different kind of roast besides my Starbucks blends, so I went with the port side blend. I've heard Seattle has the best coffee, so I'm giving it a try. Next we have carrots for the bake, green beans, Brussels sprouts, love them to bake them in the oven, or I actually like steaming them and drizzling lemon over top of them, super good. And then we have a celeb blend of potatoes, which is a mix of sweet, nutty, fresh flavors. So there's the yellow potatoes in there, there's purple potatoes and red potatoes. Um, where did I leave off? I think here. Okay, so I have been wanting to try this. Like, actually, no, let me rephrase. So basically, at night I crave naughty foods, whether that is sweet or salty. So I got strawberries, which I love, I eat them every morning um, when I have them. Or at night, I like to snack. I'm like a watch my TV show kind of gal, and then I love to snack. So I thought dipping them into whipped cream would be great. I was gonna get regular whipped cream, then I found this coconut whipped cream. It's by the brand So Delicious, which is a dairy-free brand. I love their yogurts. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, coconut, I wanna try it. So I'll probably have this combo tonight. I'll let you guys know how it is. Larry picked up chicken noodle soup. He picks up soups in the can every time we go just to prevent or <laughs> to prevent starvation in case a hurricane hits actually. Um, but we have that. And then these are mums, like giant mums I think they are. What are they called? Yeah, jumbo mums. And I got them in green, purple, ah! green, purple, and white. Originally I picked out a really pretty bouquet of flowers and they were like $20. It's something that I never pick out for myself, but I was like, 
oh, it's kind of like springy vibes. I really like it. Let's pick out some flowers. And then Larry found these, they were three for 12. And I was like, why don't we just get those then? Because we can like mix and match all of those together and make a really pretty big bouquet. And it's three for 12 instead of $20 on one bundle of flowers. So we went with that. So I believe this is groceries checked off the list. Larry also found this at Walmart actually. This is for a bird seed. So it's easy to just like pour into the thing instead of lifting the big heavy bag. Now, let's make our way to, I should put that food away. Hold on, let me put that food away first and then we'll continue on with the haul. <laughs> so groceries are all put away. We're gonna continue on with Walmart goodies that we found. So this perfume, it's the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. Now this is absolutely crazy. So, wow, that just flashed you guys. I'm so sorry, that was really bright. So I picked up two of them and I'll tell you guys why. So at Ulta, for a one fluid ounce, it is $42 for this perfume. I found it at Walmart for $24.99 for one fluid ounce. It is the same exact thing. Like, that's insane. So if you guys check your Walmart, if you love this perfume, I've never even tried it. I spritzed it when I saw it in Walmart. I was like, that's interesting. And then I pulled up Ulta's website and for one fluid ounce, it was $42. So I snagged them both. It was the only two left on the shelf. That is a win. That is such a win. I am so excited about that. The next thing which I've been seeing, if you guys ever see those advertisements on Instagram, like you're scrolling and there's an advertisement. I've been seeing this advertised a lot. Now I always use the Batiste. Is it the Batiste or Batista? I'm not really sure. This is the Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo, pretty and delicate, in the scent rose gold. I've had the floral one, the oriental one. I've literally tried so many of them and I, already gone through them and I'm in need of a new one. This was the last one left. This was the only rose gold one they had. So clearly everybody else is getting this one in their advertisements on Instagram as well. So it just, it, it smells more, I don't know how to describe it, but now it's the only one that I want to purchase. And I don't even know if it'll say like the scents, but for now on, it's the only one that I want to purchase is the rose gold one. So I picked up that one as well. Next, moving on to something that Larry picked out, which is really cute. We needed a new thermometer for our pool. We are getting closer to pool season here in Florida. Pool season here is probably like March through October. So here we have our little thermometer and it's a little cute turtle. Isn't he cute? He's wearing his sunnies. Next, we have these headbands. I like to wear these when I'm just roaming around or cleaning in the house. I'm very specific with them. These are the wider ones. They have thinner ones that are tighter. These are just nice, stretchy. Or when I'm washing my face, I like all of my hair out of my face. Like even if I have my hair up like this, I'll still put one of these on because I have all these little flyaways and I just like my hair completely out of my face when I cleanse. So I picked up some of these. The next things that I picked up are deodorants. Now these are ones that I have tried. Well, I haven't tried these exact brands, but I have tried the aluminum free deodorants and the healthier deodorants and they just haven't worked for me, whether like I put them on and they were scratching my underarm, like they were really hard. Um, but I wanna give them a try again. So the first one I found was the native deodorant in the scent coconut vanilla. They have many scents, but this is the one that really smelled true to its actual scent. And it's paraben free and aluminum free. And yeah, it smells like a coconut vanilla mixture. So I really like that. So I'm gonna give this a try. And then the other one that I found, this one I do believe was like $11 and it is the native brand. And then the other one I found was Dr. Teal's, which was less than half the price. This was only, I wanna say $3.99, $4.99, more so in the normal range for a price of a deodorant. So this is the Dr. Teal's, which I also love their products for my bath. Dr. Teal's aluminum-free deodorant, magnesium plus eucalyptus and essential oils with shea butter and arrowroot powder. And it is aluminum-free, paraben and, is it sulfate-free or thulfate, thalate, thalate? I'm not really even sure. But this one also smells like eucalyptus. So I'm gonna give these two a try. Hopefully they'll work because I don't want sweaty pits and I live in Florida where it is 90 and humid and I want my deodorants to work as well. So I'll definitely be able to put these to the test very soon. <laughs> Next we have 
Disney Maleficent Mistress of Evil. Now, this came out in theaters around October, I believe. I did not go and see it when it came out in theaters. So I found it, picked it up. I'm going to watch it. Have not seen it yet. I was also looking for The New Lady and the Tramp, which came out November 12th. But I can't find a release date anywhere, and I'm starting to wonder, according to what I looked up online, if it's only a Disney Plus release and they're not coming out with it. I don't know the answer. I'm not telling you guys that's what they're doing. If you know what they're doing with that movie, let me know, because I really wanted to see it, and I don't have Disney Plus, so maybe I'll, now I'll have to get Disney Plus. That's probably why they do it if they don't come out with it on DVD. Next, Larry picked out a series, Mad About You, the complete series. And I've never seen this. Babe, what's this kind of like comparable to? It's about a couple that lives in New York. A couple that lives in New York. And they bicker and navigate marriage and have a lot of fun. Oh. <coughs> well, did you get that? That sounds kind of good, actually. Sounds cute. It was on for seven, seven seasons. And it just was mm -hmm. released down here with the same two stars in a 2019-2020 version of the continuation of the same show. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, but this hasn't been on for well over a decade, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll start watching that. Next thing I picked up is the EOS. I use the EOS chapsticks. They're my favorite. I'm addicted to chapstick, if you don't know, and I'm not kidding. Like, actually addicted, aren't I? Yes. I have to use it several times a day, all day. I've been using chapstick since I was in middle school and literally don't start using it. If you start using it, you're screwed <laughs> and you have to buy it forever. So this is the ones that I currently like or I've been loving for the last couple of years is the EOS. Now I've heard they've given people reactions. That's never happened to me, but I also don't buy the egg ones. I think the egg like round ones don't work as well. They're sticky and rough. These sticks that look like this are a lot more smooth and I love them. And why do you use those now instead of... Carmex? Yes. I used to be addicted to Carmex. The squeezy yellow tube with the red cap. And back when I lived in Ohio, I ended up having a severe kind of allergic reaction to it to the point where I had to go to the doctor and get a shot in my butt. <laughs> so since then I've switched to this. Um, and this is a new scent that I've never seen or a new flavor. It's the coconut milk is one of them, which I'm assuming actually is the reddish pink one. And then pineapple passion fruit. I usually stay with the, I think there's a mint one. I love that one. It has like a greenish blue packaging. And then I like the vanilla, which is just cream or white. So I picked up those. Now, when I had that really bad reaction back in the day, my doctor said to never, ever, ever, ever buy chapstick ever again. And clearly I didn't listen. Uh, and he said the only thing you should ever put on your lips is Vaseline. So for those of you who are not addicted to any sort of chapsticks, use Vaseline at night, at morning, whatever. So I picked up that. I figured this would be good to put on at nighttime after I cleanse my face. So that's everything from Walmart. Now let's move to things that we picked up in Vegas. And the first thing is, this is something that I was gonna show you guys in the vlog, but it was all taped up. So this was actually an artifact from somebody on the Titanic that passed away and they recovered it. And then they've made, not this one specifically, but they used that and then made collectible items for people to collect. And this was a cherry toothpaste patronized by the queen. So it was literally like a powdered cherry toothpaste and you would mix it with a little bit of water and brush your teeth. So this was $14.99, but that, that just blows my mind. You would keep your powdered toothpaste in here, just, you know, take off the lid and dip your brush in and brush your teeth. And it's meant to look, let me zoom in, kind of aged and cracked. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And here's what the back looks like. Quite surprised to find what you liked on exhibit being sold in the gift shop. I know. I was so mesmerized by it when we were walking through the exhibition or the exhibit. I was like, what? That was That's what it looks like? I was like, that is so pretty. I love it. And then we walked out into the gift shop and here it is. For beautifying and preserving the teeth and gums. Prepared by John Cosnell and Cole from London. So yeah, and I just thought it was cool. What did it say about the queen? Oh, patronized by the queen. Patronized by the queen. Not I was like, the <laughs> endorsed by the queen or yeah. the official toothpaste of the queen. Yeah, the official toothpaste of the queen. But so 
Patronite. Couldn't help myself. I grabbed it. I figure I'm not going to put any powder toothpaste. I don't think powder toothpaste exists anymore. It might. It might. But not here. I've never seen it. Comment down below if you know if it does. Yeah. Amen. That would be cool. But I think I'm going to use this to put like my little rings in or something like that. Next, Larry and my brother went off one night on their own and my mom and I stayed in the hotel room to relax for a little bit. And then they took us the next day to Hell's Kitchen. This is Gordon Ramsay's, like, you know, the white jackets. I don't want to put it next to my face because I have makeup on, but how cool is that? Added it to the jersey collection. Yeah, that is super, super cool. And how much was that? This was $79.95. Then we got a discount on it. Yeah, we did get a discount. And then I found, I, when I, oh, the coffee mug that you surprised me with. Oh, it's in the kitchen. Okay. Um, I always, when I go out of town, I either get a shirt, a sweatshirt, or a coffee mug um, when I go to a new state and visit. So I found this, and this was in Caesar's Palace in one of the gift shops. And it's an oversized crew neck sweater. It's gray. And then it says Las Vegas really big on the sweater. Now, usually sweaters like this or they have it written on the back, not on the front. But I thought it was so different and so cool. So we got this. This was $44.95 again when you go on vacation. Hello pricing. <laughs> so I got that. That's about the only thing you got. And then I've seen these quite a few times when we go on vacations and I never get them because it's Starbucks. Starbucks is kind of expensive and it's just a mug, but I couldn't help myself. Well, actually I didn't get it. Larry went back and bought it for me and surprised me with it because I've never bought one, but now this might <laughs> well, trigger a problem. Some of the coffee mugs and the places we went to in the souvenir mm -hmm. sections were more expensive than the Starbucks. Yeah. How much mug. was this? This was $15, I think. Oh, that's not bad. And so it just says Las Vegas on it. It looks like when we left Tampa, we stopped at, at Starbucks. They also had one that said Florida. So it looks like Starbucks has probably done a whole series of... Like by other, state. Yes. Which I really like that. So this is my first state mug by Starbucks. I think it's so cool. So you have Las Vegas. Obviously, Las Vegas is known for their slot machines and their gambling. So we have sevens on here we have money signs we have the ace card dice slot machines entertainment capital of the world and a cactus i thought that was really cool so thanks babe for picking it up i was shocked when he surprised me with it so that was really cool well you looked at it about three different oh things. that's what it's called the, the been there series, series. Yes. sweet i love it across the globe collection celebrate your hometown pride and jet set travel so this is like a jet set travel it's kind of funny because the town that I worked in at one point had six, maybe seven Starbucks in, in the same town that I worked in. That was kind of extreme. I think it's down to maybe five now. But the hotel that we stayed at, the Luxor, they have two Starbucks in the hotel lobby mm -hmm. just for the Luxor. And I'm sure there was another one next door at the Excalibur. And I would imagine just about any hotel you walked into in Vegas probably has one. Yeah, Starbucks Along was definitely with, I the... think there might have been a couple on the Strip, too, as we were walking down Las Vegas Boulevard. Yeah, well, he said. There's a lot of Starbucks in yeah. Vegas. It's like and the coffee place of Vegas. And New York City has one about every block or two blocks. Mm -hmm. A lot of Starbucks. Moving on to Hobby Lobby. I picked up this vase. It's just a small white vase with a clear bottom. It was on sale and I picked it up for, I got a few springy items at Hobby Lobby. Here they are, Larry's grabbing them. I think I got them all. So Larry picked out this one and it's just a spring flower with a cute robin eggs nest. There it is. So we got this, it goes in here. And then I saw these, which I thought were really cute. They're just a little bunch of pastel colors. There's purple, blue, pink, yellow, and a cream color. These were on sale as well, weren't they? Or were they not yet? No, they weren't. I lied. So these were $3.99. I'm not sure how much the one with the nest was. But yeah, I picked out this, and I thought it would be really cute to add to the coffee table or the kitchen. Lexi's sniffing around. My battery's dying. Ooh, I also picked out this for my office. It reminded me of Cinderella. And it's a really pretty cream pumpkin carriage with gold wheels. And it opens up for you to put anything you'd like in there or rings. So I picked up that. This was, it almost fell over, 13. <gasps> was it? It wasn't. 
Oh, well, I thought it was thirteen ninety nine. Actually, we got forty percent off of that. Well, that's good. This thing was thirty one ninety nine. Oh. I thought it was thirteen ninety nine. But we got forty percent off of that. It rolls. That's why it's thirty one ninety nine. Cause it rolls. <laughs> then I do not have any sort of spring or Easter garland for the fireplace, so. I thought this would be cute. And it's uh, an Easter egg garland that I can lay across the fireplace. I love, I just love the speckled eggs. I think they're adorable. Got that. And that was $21.99. Larry loves corgis and he really, really wanted this corgi. So we got it. And then. He's just a little guy. This, what's this? That's a uh, container with containers. A container with containers for jewelry storage. Yeah, but I'm not going to use it for that. No? What are you going to use it for? I'm going to use it for plastic letters. Oh, that's cool. And then this is another vase that's very similar to the small one, except it's, it's much bigger. And this one I picked out for real flowers that we actually have to put in here because the flowers I showed you guys that we picked up at Walmart. And this was $21.99. Now, there were some sales going on, so... Some of the prices, I know there was not a sale on that carriage besides our 40% off, which is fine. But yeah, that's everything that we picked up. That's a pretty good haul. Hi, babies. Okay, so that was everything that we picked up today that are spring-related fashion food items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. So here we're going to start off with food because I love watching people. I love watching people. <laughs> so we have the Tostitos tortilla chips, which I got for my chips and salsa. And then also green, purple. Ah! <coughs> okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hold on. Mm. Timer, three seconds, go! Ah. Oh, my deodorant's backwards. Focus. Oh,